dear students today we are going to start ninth social science democratic politics third chapter electoral politics in your previous classes you have already learned what is democracy and why democracy as you know we are experiencing democracy the best form of government in the world since 1947 every one of us is directly or indirectly is the part of a democratic government in this chapter we are going to discuss the electoral politics that means we will understand how the representatives that is mlas mps and the members of the local self government bodies are elected in democracy we will also understand why elections are necessary in democracy democracy is the government of the people by the people for the people where what is the necessity of elections or necessity of elections that we will understand we will also understand how elections are useful in democracy how elections are useful in democracy in this chapter we will also discuss the benefits of electoral competition you know in during election there will be lots of competition between congress bjp janata dal and many other political parties so what is the benefits what are the benefits of electoral competitions that you will understand after that we will discuss what makes an election democratic that means how can you call an election is democratic so what are the other kind of elections which we call non democratic we will also learn to differentiate democratic election from non democratic elections another important topic we discuss in this chapter is the process of election from the first to the last there are many process before the election as well as after the election in the end of the chapter we will assess whether elections in india are free and fair that means whether elections are in india are conducted democratically or legally that we will discuss and in the end we will also discuss the role of election commission in ensuring free and fair elections you know election commission is the government authority that has the responsibility of conducting election in india so we will discuss whether the election commission of india is ensuring free and fair elections now let's start the lesson why elections under this topic we will discuss first a story that is assembly election in haryana assembly election in haryana now let's hear the story of haryana you know the state haryana situates near delhi punjab and even borders with uh, rajasthan uh, this story happened actually in 1987 1987 around 30 35 years 33 years back actually haryana state was ruled by congress party since 1982 congress party you no know, at present rahul gandhi or sonia gandhi their party haryana state was ruled by congress party since 1982 during that time choudhary devi lal you can call him devi lal was the opposition leader opposition leader means at present in karnataka edurappa is the chief minister and siddaramaiah is the opposition leader so during that time choudhary lal was the choudhary lal choudhary devi lal was the opposition leader of haryana so as a opposition leader what he did was he led a movement movement means 
associating a group of people and conducting a a a, 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 a function against the existing congress party he called it nyaya yuddh or struggle for justice understand devilal held a mass movement called nyaya yuddh or struggle for justice actually it was a uh, technique used by devilal to mobilize the people or to attract the people towards him and his newly formed party he formed a new party called lokdal l o k d a l lokdal party after what he did was he formed a front f r o n t front means a group joining with other opposition parties against congress why because congress is a strong party ruling party devil understood that he with his new party contest in the election he may not be able to defeat congress so he need support of other small parties so there were other small parties so he made a front or a group with other small political parties and contested in the next election in the name of this new group one more thing in 1987 election devilal used another technique what he used was he gave a big promise an offer to the people of haryana what he said was if his party win the election and if he became the chief minister of haryana his government would waive or cancel all the money loans taken by farmers and businessmen haryana is a state of farmers farmers usually take loan from banks lots of money business people also take loans so what choudhary lal said was if his party win the election he will cancel all the loans taken by farmers and businessmen so it was a promise given by him to attract the farmers and business people towards his party against congress party later what happened the election was held and miracle has happened lokdal and alays other parties won 76 seats out of 90 seats and lokdal alone won 60 seats see the change of politics a party which was recently formed won 60 out of 90 seats and claimed to form the government see the condition of congress the ruling party only five seats soon after soon after the sitting chief minister was resigned and newly mlas elected devilal as their leader and governor invited devilal to be the new chief minister so these are the procedure what happened soon after the election result declared the existing chief minister or the sitting chief minister should resign after what to do all the newly mlas they have to decide or select one person as the new chief minister when they give the name it is the duty of governor to invite that person to form the new government so same thing happened in haryana 3 days after becoming the chief minister of haryana what devilal and his government did see as as he promised he issued an order waiving the loan of farmers laborers and businessmen what he said he did the promise was kept because the people gave him what because of his promise so he did what he promised and became 
द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ हरियाणा बट इन पॉलिटिक्स नथिंग इज परमानेंट सी द स्टोरी वॉट हैपन लेटर नेक्स्ट फोर इयर्स देवी लाल एंड इज पार्टी लॉकदाल रूल्ड हरियाणा but in there was an election in 1991 in that election devilal lost and congress party came to power again so this is the uncertainty in election or in in election procedures previously it was congress after devilal came now devilal lost and again congress party came to power so this is the story that happened in haryana after this we will try to understand why do we need these kind of elections that we will discuss in the next class dear children read the sheets i am sending along with that or read the textbook and what are the doubts you have regarding this part please whatsapp me and clear your doubts few assignment questions will be send and try to answer for that as early as possible thank you